In this video, you're gonna see how to make a dialysis, tu dialysis tube cell, like this one, um, using a piece of dialysis tubing, like this. Dialysis tubing is a clear film that uh, has tiny little pores in it, just like the cell membrane of every one of your cells. In fact, they're about the same diameter in the cell membrane as they are in this dialysis tubing. That's why we can make an artificial cell out of a piece of dialysis tubing. Now this looks like a just a sheet of film, but in fact when we get it wet, it's gonna open up into a tube shape. So in the beaker, we have been soaking a piece of that dialysis tubing for a few minutes. Uh, my assistant here is gonna take it out and now he's gonna start rubbing his fingers together on it and switch hands so they can kind of see what you're doing there. Um, and just by rubbing it, the dialysis tubing will open up and I want you to show them the opening there so that they can see that it actually is a tube and the rest of it still is squished together into a flat sheet. Uh, but as he keeps working his fingers back and forth on it, it'll open up into a simple dialysis tube. Um, the goal now is to tie off both ends of this dialysis, dialysis tube and to fill it with water. So to tie off the ends, my, my assistant is going to now twist up one of the ends, just like you're twisting a candy wrapper and then he's going to fold that twisted end in half on top of itself. Um, just makes a nicer seal when you fold it in half. Be sure to do the fold. And my other assistant over here has prepared two strings, show him the strings first, um, in which he's got little shoelace type knots called overhand knots um, looped through them already. Um, so he's gonna pick that up and tie off the ends. Um, you guys are going to be using thread to do this. We decided to use string just to make it easier to see. Um, the string doesn't hold quite as well, but at least you can see how the knot is formed. Um, and he just added two or three more or overhand knots to the end of that to really make sure it's sealed tightly. Now that one end is sealed, um, student assistant number one is going to fill the dialysis tube up with water to make it into a cell looking shape. So he's going to come on over here to the sink and just add some water to that tube. And drop it a couple times. Don't worry, they're pretty sturdy. You won't break it. And you'll notice it quickly filled up. And if you can hold that up for them so they can see. Um, yep, see how it's full of water now? Nice little tube. And good enough, it'll probably squirt out a little bit when you're twisting it up, but that's okay. Um, so next he's gonna now twist off the other end just like he did the first time. And again, remember to fold the tube in half. And then student assistant number two is gonna add that his second piece of string to the end and cinch it off nicely with a few knots um, just to make sure it doesn't leak at all. Um, and now there's no openings into this dialysis tubing except for the tiny little pores that are actually in the membrane of the tube itself, just like one of your cells. Ta-da. Nice work, guys.